It was a very public show of unity, the senior commanders of the opposition's armed forces standing together with the NTC president. Nearly two weeks after their chief, Abdul Fattah Yunus, was murdered, the message was clear, there is no division. Libya, Libya, Libya. Mr Mustafa Jalil used the occasion of the 70th anniversary of Libya's armed forces to call for the disbanding of armed militias that are thought by some to have played a part in the general's death. It wasn't a day, however, that Mr Jalil wanted to discuss the killing. Criticism has grown because the NTC has issued few details and the killers remain free. Because uh, of uh, human rights, so we cannot talk about that uh, in, in, in this time. No details. General Yunus was killed with two aides after being arrested to answer questions relating to military issues. His warrant was issued by two NTC members. The council has launched an investigation but has been inconsistent in its version of events. Now relatives of the dead men are calling for an independent international probe. There will be a problem if there is no international investigation because that will be fair and unbiased. General Yunus was a member of the Obeidi tribe, the most powerful in eastern Libya, and counts more than 4,000 armed fighters in its ranks. It's thought the pressure it brought to bear forced Mr Jalil to sack his entire cabinet Monday in a surprise move seen as a damage limitation exercise. Many have welcomed the move, but there are still sceptics. We have lost our confidence in the NTC because of the way it selects its members, and the NTC played a part in the death of General Yunus. Libya's opposition forces are fighting battles on three major fronts and the NTC is fielding allegations over the rise of extremist elements that are feared could lead to infighting. It's facing its toughest test since the uprising began six months ago but clearly hopes the political changes and its stand against the militias will restore confidence and silence the doubters. These actions are aimed at stopping cracks before they become divisions. For the NTC, it's imperative to demonstrate strength and unity at this crucial time, not only for the opposition supporters, but also for the international community on which they are heavily reliant. An unstable and weak opposition could jeopardise that support. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Benghazi.